Do you have food sensitivities or fertility issues? Because if so, this video might be one of the most important things you watch this year. How you doing? I'm Steve Wright, co-creator of Solving Leaky Gut. And you're about to listen into a segment of an interview that I did with Dr. Tom O'Brien. Now, Dr. Tom is one of the world's leading gluten and intestinal permeability researchers. And in this segment, we're talking about how he got started helping people with fertility issues and how food sensitivities might be one of the biggest clues that your immune system is dysregulated and that's going to lead to things like fertility issues and other problems that he'll talk about in the clip. So let's listen in. And uh, over the years, I've worked with many, many couples with uh, infertility issues, um, recurrent miscarriages, uh, uh, premature births, uh, uh, and have helped a lot of people. And we find that there are some common mechanisms across the board that seem to occur for most, if not all, of these couples. The first common mechanism that we see is a sensitivity to foods that are very common in their diet. And the most common food, which got me into the whole world of gluten sensitivity and celiac disease, was gluten, most common. And after that, dairy and then others. But whatever the foods were that people were sensitive to, the focus must be to identify those sensitivities and then eliminate those foods from the diet. Because if you have a sensitivity to a food, what that means is that your immune system is taking your precious energy to fight that food, making what are called antibodies to fight that food. And uh, uh, that mechanism of fighting the food, the immune system produces these antibodies, and the antibodies are like high-powered rifles firing chemical bullets called cytokines that destroy that molecule that the, uh, that the immune system, the body thinks, is an invader. So if your immune system is saying, we got a problem with this, we want to get that out of the diet. That, that was the first thing that I found that was common in all these people. And over the years of having a holistic practice for about 23, 25 years in Chicago, uh, over the years, uh, what we've learned as the technology improved, and now I'm on the teaching faculty of the Institute for Functional Medicine, and I teach this to medical doctors and chiropractors and osteopaths, what I teach is the world of intestinal permeability or the leaky gut. Uh, that, that is a very common mechanism that occurs when people have sensitivities to foods, any food that they may have a sensitivity to. They are, are likely, uh, it's not 100%, but they're very likely to produce a measurable intestinal permeability that causes all kinds of damage in the body. So does that mean that if I don't have any food sensitivities, or at least I'm not aware of any food sensitivities, that I might not have intestinal permeability issues? Well, there's two parts to your question that need to be answered. First is I'm not aware of any food sensitivities. That's a very important point <laughs> because most people are not aware. If they don't get sick when they eat something, they think it's fine. But the internal bomb fires that go on, the inflammation in the body is what destroys our tissue, and that's the aging process. You think you're fine, but your blood vessels are being damaged, and, and then your body tries to put patches on the leaks, and you get hardening of the arteries. Or you think you're fine, but you know, you're know you getting a little older, you don't remember the way you used to, and your memory's going a little bit, and you kind of joke, oh, I'm getting older, ha ha. So really, how old are you? Oh, I'm 34. And, it, and No, no, that's not supposed to happen. So uh, whether people recognize that they have a food sensitivity or not um, is a real problem because there's not the impetus to check uh, if they don't get sick when they eat the food. So that's the first part of your question. Uh, the second part is food sensitivities. If I don't have a food sensitivity, do I not have intestinal permeability? Absolutely not. There are many, many causes of intestinal permeability. We know that uh, uh, genetically modified foods, GMO foods, can cause intestinal permeability. The chemicals that we're exposed to in our water, in our food supply, the antibiotics 
that we take, you know, they spray antibiotics on our food now. So we're all getting antibiotics. Antibiotics will cause intestinal permeability. Uh, if you have um, a poor balance of the good flora in your intestines, the good guys that are supposed to be there, if that's out of balance and you've got too many bad guys, that will cause intestinal permeability. There are many triggers to the development of intestinal permeability. Food sensitivities is just probably the most common one. 